video, we had two vectors, which was uh, OA and OB. And I've still got the same vectors, but I'm calling this OA is A and O to B is B. Now I've actually taken away the grid, so we're not going to know any coordinates. So O to A is vector A, O to B is vector B, and M is halfway along this vector AB. Find in terms of A and B, so these are the vectors A and B, A to O. So I want to start at A and I want to go down to O. It's not vector A because this vector starts at O and goes to A. If I start at A and go to O, I'm actually doing negative A. Because I'm going the opposite direction. It's all to do with the direction of the vector. I want to go from A to B. Now in the last video, we counted the squares, but then we also said to go from A to B, I go minus A plus B. So I'll go down A, and then I add on B. And I like to rearrange that, so I start with a positive. So that's B minus A. Three. What if I start at B and move to A? Well, it's the exact opposite of that. So it's going to give me A minus B. Negative B, and then up A to give me the positive. OK, A to M. Now let me draw, let me draw on here the vector A to B, um, similar to what I did before. So I'm just going to draw that. Uh, I'll put this vector on here like that draw a straight line between them. Now, it's almost correct, except I'm going to put a little arrow on there just to say that's A to B, and I'm going to label A to B with number 2, B minus A. M is exactly halfway along, so there's M right in the middle. So I want to start for A to M, I want to start at A and finish at M. So that's half of this vector here. So number four is actually quite straightforward. It's a half of B take away a half of A. So I've just taken the vector A to B, but halved it because I only want to go halfway. Now five, the position vector. Now remember in the last video, the position vector, that should be an R there, position vector of M is start at O and end up at M. So that's the one I'm looking for, O to M. So let's just jot that down there, O to M. Now over here, let's put in O to M. Now to get from O to M, I'm actually going to go along O to A, and then A to M. Now why did I break it up like that? Because I know this vector is A. And A to M, I've already got number 4 is A to M. That's a half of B minus a half of A. Well, now I can put these two A's together to give me a half of A plus a half of B, eventually. <laughs> Let me do that up here. A half of A add a half of B. And that final bit there is really just addition of fractions. Now, this will help you get started for any kind of problems that you have with vectors and they might get more difficult but the same principles apply.